Uh, so I'm here with Dan of Carcass. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm very hot. Yeah, Other than that, hot. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. How's yeah, your day been here at Download so far? All right. I still feel like I'm kind of just waking up and you know, kind of figuring it all out. We've obviously played, but it was yeah. a <laughs> mad rush to try and get everything done. And you know, you were still asleep. Pretty much. Yeah. I think How was I've, the set though? It was cool. I mean, it went as well as it could have gone. I think. Yes. It's, it's always kind of stressful at these big, you know, big festivals. So. Uh, I think we did as well as we could. So this is where you get new fans, isn't it? Well, hopefully, yeah, yeah, exactly. And you never know, you never know who's watching, you never know who's gonna tell their mates or you know whatever. So it's kind of it's nice to play to people that probably have never heard of you before. Yeah. So yeah, yeah no, so absolutely. It's and it's been a while since you last released new music. Where are you at the moment? Uh, that's a good question, actually. I think, well, I guess it was two and a half years, something like that. Something like years? that. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, we kind of it takes us a while to write music because the two main guys in the band, Bill and Jeff, they don't do. They don't do technology, okay. so the only way we can do it is like everybody in a room, which is cool, it's old school, but we tour so much that it's really hard to do that, so as it stands we've got nothing on the horizon, but I hope, you know, we've got some time off at the end of the year, so yep. hopefully we can, you know, start doing um, some more stuff. And where are you, were you at with the last record because of the pandemic? Was it all finished and recorded beforehand? Yeah, so we, we were completely done uh, and ready to release, and then the pandemic hit, and because kind of our audience is a lot more physical yeah uh, especially vinyl we had to delay because all the vinyl pressing and cd pressing places had shut down so it was meant to be released like a year earlier than it was because of all that stuff so but luckily we didn't get affected by any of it which yeah. was, which was apart from delaying it but you know so uh, too bad. yeah no could have been, been worse exactly yeah. could have been much worse yeah. um and people will want to see you playing live once you finish here at download what's the plan next well we've just done a uh, how long has it been we just did 15 days all over the UK, yep. no days off, so we're all just about to die. You want some sleep? But, yeah. <laughs> um, and then we've got uh, we've got a couple of weeks at home and then just festivals all over Europe. And then end of the year, again, I think we're ta- finally taking some time off because we haven't stopped since the world opened up last year, basically. We've yeah. been home. I think we did not, we figured out we've done nine months out of 12 for the last uh, the last year, pretty nice. much. So. So I think we'll take some time at the end of the year, maybe do some new music or maybe just sleep for six <laughs> yeah. months, you know, exactly. So, yeah, who knows? We'll see. We'll and see. you must have toured many places. Where, where haven't you been to yet that you want to get to? Oh, that's a good question, actually. Uh, we've been lucky to play almost everywhere. Um, Alaska, never been to Alaska. That Lovely. would be cool. Yeah. Uh, maybe a bit more of Asia. Never been to Asia or Africa. I don't know if you can really play much in you know, South Africa, I guess. I don't yeah, know. But yeah, I guess yeah, a bit more of Asia in Africa. We've done a bit of Asia, but um, yeah, so the untapped places, I guess. People don't go there that much. But um, generally, we've been pretty much everywhere, which is, again, you know, very nice. Yeah. yeah. But um, yeah, I guess can't complain about that kind of thing. <laughs> but, yeah. And when it comes to writing, you said the other guys are the, the main writers. So mm-hmm. how do they kind of... What stage do they get it to before you get involved and have your say? Oh, well, it's kind of because uh, Bill, the guitar player, he pretty much writes everything. And again, because he's so old school, we normally just get in a practice space, you know, like the old days. And he'll just kind of show me a couple of riffs and be like, what do you think? And I'll be like, yeah, cool. You know, and then we <laughs> just just try stuff. And that's it's good because it's kind of a bit more organic and old school. But it, it, it does take a lot longer because... You have to physically be there, and he's, he never really has a full song ready, so it's kind of like, you know, trying to figure out how to transition stuff into the next thing and, you know, all that yeah. kind of thing. So uh, so normally I'm involved immediately because, you know, he kind of needs drums, I guess, to, to figure it out. But, uh, yeah, he kind of writes riffs at home, and then we just come together. And then Jeff, our singer, he gets involved, and bass player, I should say, he gets involved once there's a few, you know, a few kind of skeletons of songs. Yep. And then, um, yeah, and then... You know, we kind of try and make it as carcassy as possible. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so yeah. that's that's kind and of. And are it. you old school in just playing the play in the drums, or do you have to program them and know the technology side as well? No, not at all. Like literally, we uh, the demos for the last album were done on Bill's phone, <laughs> and we just put the phone like in the middle of the practice space and just played the songs through, and then nice. and, that, and that was it. That was the demo. So we kind of again, it's as old school as it could be. Really. Yeah. But obviously, I've been in a ton of other bands probably way too many bands and that was all kind of programmed drums with click track and you know all that kind of proper pre-production stuff but so kind of getting in with these guys was like oh wow this is this is like when i was 15 you know (laughs) 
<laughs> it's cool. It's different. It's really. How easy have you found the programming side of the of drum, drum? Yeah, I mean, I I don't know. I'm a bit of a nerd, so I kind of like all that stuff, and I'm a little bit obsessed with uh, you know different drum software and trying to make it sound as realistic as possible. Yeah. I play a lot of. Um, I've got a lucky to have a really nice electronic kit, so I, you know, do a lot of stuff with that. But um, yeah, I kind of wish I could do it more actually with these guys. But you know, so yeah, yeah, I really enjoy it actually. And it's, yeah. I think technology's made things a lot easier and, and harder in some ways but um, yeah it's 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 good fun and a lot of the time you can program stuff that you can't play yet so that's kind of cool you're like crap I need to figure out how to play this because yeah. that's kind of cool you know so that was my kind of, next question in oh, fact yeah yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it kind of it spurs you on sometimes because you know you just try something just by putting in you know clicking in little MIDI notes and it sounds cool, and then you think, "Am I ever gonna, you know, am I ever gonna be able to play this?" But have you uh, ever gone too far and gone, "I, I really cannot do this"? I haven't, but I've been in bands where the guitar players have programmed the drums, <laughs> and they expect me to be like, you know, an octopus. Yeah, five cymbals at the same time whilst playing kick drums and snare drum and like a tom, and you're just like, "That's Easy. not physically possible." They're like, "No, it is, man. Come on, I've seen this guy do it." I don't think you have. I think yeah. you just, I think you just, you know, you're probably drunk or something when you saw that, but. Um, yeah, so you know, it's again, it's relatively easy with Carcass because I just get to kind of just yeah. you know improvise and, and hope for the stuff. best. Really. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So it's very old school, which is quite refreshing, I guess, because you know, I guess a lot of people are kind of steeped in technology now, which yeah. that's just the way it is, and that's you know, that's fine. But yeah. it's it's quite nice to have that kind of freedom just to improvise and you know, yeah. kind of yeah, hope it hope it comes out all right. Yeah, basically. definitely. Yeah. Well, Dan, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very Have much. Have a chat with you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Cheers.